The Department of Medical Imaging at the University of Toronto is the largest imaging department in Canada and one of the largest in North America. We have an extremely strong education base uh, supporting the department with 60 residents, 80 fellows and 175 faculty distributed around nine teaching hospitals in Toronto. What makes the department unique is people with diverse backgrounds, diverse uh, research interests that work together to come up with new ideas and new visions for the department. It's an enabling environment, meaning that if you've got an idea and you want to do something, there are people who you can do it with, there are facilities you can use. One of our goals is to enhance and support the departmental research structure for faculty to undertake research innovation, translation and mentorship. The department is organised into six research groups that reflect the uh, research undertaken within the department and more broadly within the university. Within this group, I'm currently leading radiomics and quantitative imaging. The type of research that we're focused on is one that brings a new sort of approach to how we look at images. So instead of qualitative approaches and descriptive approaches, we're looking at actually generating quantitative biomarkers from these images. An area where we are actively pursuing this is in prostate cancer. We are using multi-parametric MRI to do in-depth analysis of about 2,000 images that are generated in each patient to really extract a whole variety of features that are relevant to diagnosis. The scientists within brain, spine and nerve represent a unique skill set. We lead in a number of regions including research in intracranial hemorrhage, subarachnoid hemorrhage, brain tumor, and cerebrovascular reactivity. The research that we have uh, performed has been translated widely into clinical research, now running within three countries, including Canada, America, and Australia. One of the research groups that we've organized is interested in diseases associated with injury, inflammation, and degeneration. This covers a broad group of diseases, but actually the fundamental mechanism underlying them is very similar. Injury, inflammation and degeneration is involved in conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease, arthritis and vasculitis, all of which are being currently studied in our pediatric age group. Interestingly, atherosclerosis seen in adults is also thought to have a major inflammatory component. The heart, lung and vessel group in the department is across the University of Toronto Hospital. We have radiologists and medical imagers who are part of the group, we have physicists who are part of the group, and we are looking to also incorporate uh, the clinical specialties as needed for different proposals. There are different aspects of disease that may affect the heart, may affect the lung, or may affect the vasculature, but there are also diseases that run across these organs. So we have a number of proposals but we shall look at both aspects of it. I head a different research group called the um, Innovation, Translation and Attrition Group, which is a little bit unusual because it encompasses all the different researchers from all the different other groups that come together and are looking to develop new technologies that are on the leading edge, the cutting edge of medical imaging research. The idea is we're trying to accelerate innovation by working with non-medical imaging researchers, for example, engineers, physicists, computer scientists to develop new technologies that don't yet exist. We're extremely fortunate to attract high-level junior faculty into the department and many of them have had success in securing internationally recognized awards from organizations such as the RSNA and AUR. Our junior researchers I believe are vital to the success of medical imaging as they will be building the specialty in years to come. I believe our department could be one of the top research institutes in the world. By continuing on this track where we're focusing a lot of resources on research. I think the future for medical imaging is extremely bright, provided we seize the opportunity through research to help build the next generation of medical imaging that will allow us to play an increasing role in patient management through diagnosis, treatment and prevention. Mm -hmm.